we will find better. Pills! Hooray, pills! Oh, and there was a watch over there. Alright, good to know. Let's... Okay, to contact them. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island has scientists... Oh, look, $100. Found by That'll a be useful. Early on Tuesday morning, who says he smelled it a mile away? The mystery password is sunrise. Octopus. The All right. And Canada what is this? The monster have commented that they have never seen At your convenience, like please come and visit me in my home before. downtown. I leave this to guide you. Dark blood, a curse. A light this far. Such power I sense in the months so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss. Found by a jogger on Tuesday morning, who says he smelled it a mile away. I'll look for that. Creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Let's the marine biologists that have into the, the email. have commented that they have never Good. seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. I need to find Mercurio, A. Yet undiscovered All right. Sea creatures. A massive gelatinous look. creature. Don't that need that, thank you. Of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their Oh, heads. look! It's my cousin. By a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away. The mystery creature is thought to be some hmm. form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists then have Mercurio is telling me that he is next door. Like in the cephalopod right. family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet How undiscovered cryptic. family of sea creatures. After Ash Rivers Although, why am I only a pawn? after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the negative zero right, star in the unscathed Ooh, blood. and apparently unfazed by his high speed accident. Rivers' agent believes the statement that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action oh. against Rivers for the trademark. Time to physics! Physics! Anyway. This is the second crash Rivers has escaped uh, nothing in, there. in the last year. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship mm. found floating uh, 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast early this morning. Was to be huh. Let's steal this guy's paper. <laughs> Carnival of Death. Okay, have to check that out later. Any mail? Nope. Alright, let's go. You got, you got some change, mister? You hungry? I am too. Hmm, we do seem to be all alone in this alley. Why don't I just take your supple neck and uh, yes. drain the blood? That, that's what I meant? <laughs> I would punch you, but you know, I feel sorry for you. Okay. Oh! That trail of blood looks awfully... suspicious. What did he do to his car? Uh, yes. Is there something I can, um, help you with? Uh, what are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? You should listen to my mechanic by German, he said. Could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. Afraid I'm a little short on cash right now. I'm so sorry. I'll be on my way then. Joik. Now if I wanted, that red thing said that I could send him over to the alley to meet me. But, I don't really need his blood yet. Let's go see what's going on over here. Since this is next door to my place, it may well be Mercurio's pad. Well, the guy didn't miraculously heal on the way in. Ah, oh, crap. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Are you Mercurio? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shanked me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? I got... I went... Uh, what is this lump? 
This is my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. <sighs> it's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. You don't have the astrolite? Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. How do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. So, you're telling me I have to get it myself? Great. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Uh... Is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. I'll think about it. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out. Good to know. Bye. First, looting his room! You know, for a posh place like this, he certainly doesn't have anything worth stealing. So, off I go. Okay, so apparently I gained something. I gained in wits. Ah, well, at any rate. What do I have to do? I need to get some pain medication, go to the... go to the pier. You know what? I'm feeling nice. Let's go get some pain meds. Need something, pal? It, I'm okay. I, I was just looking for someone. Oh, man! Wait! Say that again! Maybe you could hear me if you pulled your head out of your ass. There you go, man! <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you? Let's say I am. What's it to you? Hell yeah! Oh, man! I knew it! I just... Oh, jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh, man, this is great! And I saw your teeth in it, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. I hear me? Oh, man! Are you a vampire? How do you know all this? I'm a ghoul! I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden... BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind! You said you're a ghoul. What is that? Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power! Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff! Jeez, oh man! Then they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out! Uh, who was the vampire that made you a ghoul? Oh man! I really wish I could tell you! But I don't think I'm supposed to! But it's really cool to be talking to you just... Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires! Oh man! Well, other than my master! So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, so what are you doing here? Look, I 
probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man! You know, important stuff to do. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're an idiot? Hey, man. Just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap. Okay? Oh, man. So agitated. <sighs> okay, I apologize. Really? <laughs> that is so cool, it's like, oh man, I knew you weren't an asshole! Well, I'll be seeing you around. Later. Do do do, in the hospital, do do do, to get some meds. All right. No one in here. Please wait your turn, and you'll be seen. I'll not be seen, nor will I wait. And that was a All bad right, Transylvanian accent. Back. Congratulations to me. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, uh, please get a doctor. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Uh, um, my inside. Oh, it hurts so bad. oh, hello. I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. But there's this girl over there, and I, I think she's going to die. See here now. I'm the only physician here at the moment. we got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Uh, try to talk to her. Keep her awake. Uh, but... I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse page, Dr. Roberts, a half hour ago. he would be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Okay. Only rest for a second. <laughs> can someone call my grandma, please? Stay with me. I can save you. Uh, 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 um. Um. Hey, here! Drink this and live! Wow, you just picked right up on that, didn't you? Uh, uh, you alright? You... Who... Who are you? Oh... What did you do? What did you do to me? Uh... Nothing. I, I must be going now. Well... Didn't get drugs yet, but... We saved that woman. I hope I did the right thing? Well, apparently... My conscience liked it. Uh, hello? What is this? Guy with aggressive feelings. Okay. You really shouldn't be leaving files like that lying around for anybody, read me, can see them. Oh, hello! Look at that! Computers for Grandma! And hey! I can read that! To make myself a better computer whiz. So, let's use those skills. Email? But da da Really? The local sports team? A little help. Hey Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to controlled substances for some morphine? I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, F Dog. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get in some Malcolm's office. By the way. Your mother wears combat boots. F dog. Aw oh, shit, that's cold. But I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I'd hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. By the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. F dog. Well, that was all immature. Let's go back to personnel. If I could spell personnel correctly. Okay. Lobotomus. P. 
hard worker. Oh, a fart joke. Isn't that nice? Uh, Billy! Internal Wrangler? What the hell does that mean? Uh, St. Martin. M. Night Shift Senior Physician, so I guess that was the guy I met earlier. Roberts. D. Never lost a patient. I get the feeling that he's cooking the books in order to get those kind of results. Ugh. What a crap sack world I live in. Okay. So, anything I can do? Oh look, pills! Are they the pills I want? No, they're estrogen. Great, thanks for that. Hormone therapy! Alright, can I pick this lock? I need, I need four, and I have one, so even blood buff isn't going to do me any good there. There's stuff over there, though, so there must be another way into the building. Um... Aha! Stairs! Can I pick this lock? With blood buff, I can. Hooray! Uh, let's see. Can I pick this lock? With blood buff. Oh! Shit! I need your blood, mister! Freeze! Gave me no choice. Okay. Ah! Great. Let's unlock the door. And the cabinet. Come on. Come out with your hands up. Someone there? Come on, let's There we go. Okay, can't go there. Hey, hold on. Ah, what am I? Alright, I don't care about the cameras. You! Blood! Um... Ooh! Maintenance! Escape! Escape! Great. 
No one will ever find me. Okay, I've been there. This leads down. Hey, breathe. Okay, let's try going downstairs. To the blood bank. Blood bank, yeah. You know, that's really getting repetitive. Oh, look. Uh, is there anything here? Nope. Oh, look, a computer. Okay, temperature. That's that, and the passcode. I don't know what the passcode is. Physics! And what is this? A Bobo G. Okay, sounds like Double Dragon. Uh, falls D and Perry. All right. So now I'll go this way. Oh, look. Malcolm's office key. And then if I go over here... Nope, wrong door. Dr. Mountain, Malcolm St. Martin. Oh, look! Pills! And let's just check for and check his computer for anything useful. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, Doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Page. Next email. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want. But I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please? Page. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should want to show me my appreciation, you just have to ask. Paige. Welcome. do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week? My mother's coming into town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room. And do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast? Okay, so apparently, he's going out with Paige. All right. Uh, let's see. H. Poe. Oh, look, there's me. Oh, I have herpes. Frequent bouts of. Wow, I would really. If I weren't undead, I might want to do something with that. Marboporitis. Sounds painful. Alright, so I got the pain meds. Whatever. But first, let's get go have a little talk with Martin. If I could only rest for a second. 
<laughs> oh. They run in fear. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to go onto the street and run away. <laughs> All right, so now we need to avoid police. I'm not really running low on blood. I need to go to Mercurio's place. Oh! Cops. Maybe they won't notice me. It's really easy to get one past these cops, isn't it? And even if they do find you, what are they gonna do? Kill me? Already dead. They could put me in jail, but I'd just take over the damn place, because I'm that awesome. Okay. Now to give Mercurio some morphine so he can stop whining about his little... Um... Shit. Ah, damn. Did you die on me? I brought you some morphine. Hold still. I needed that. You're welcome. I'll come back when I have the astrolite. Goodbye. Okay, so that was it for Mercurio's medicine. Next time, we will go to the beach and see what we can find out over there. This is Arlo Kilpatrick signing.